In this video, I am going to solve three problems from chapter 12, Equilibrium and Elasticity. First question. A 14 meter cord of negligible mass is stretched horizontally between two supports. So you have to see the figure. We have two support. The first support is here. The second support is here. In between, there is a cord which total length is from this point to this point. What's the total length? Its length is 14 meter. When a rock climber of weight 900 Newton hangs from the cord's midpoint. So this guy, he is using the cord. When he reached the midpoint of the cord, by the time what happens? The cord get sags. Sag means it will be exactly uh, moving this, this type of structure. Sagging means uh, when you place any mass to the midpoint, what will happen? The cord get sags. Am I right? So what is the level of the sag? So from this point to here, it is sagging to 0 0.85 meter. And what is the weight of the person? The weight of the person is exactly 900 Newton, they clearly mention in the question, right? And when he exactly reached the midpoint, we have some angle here, right? And likewise, the left hand side also, we have the same value as 0 0.85 meter. So, therefore, the left hand side and the right hand side, we have the equal distance, right? Because the total length of the cord is 14 meter. So here when this guy reached the midpoint of the cord, the left hand side we have 7 meter and right hand side also we have 7 meter. By the time what will happen because when you substitute, when you when you suspend any mass because here the person is the total weight, am I right? So by the time the tension will be created in the cord, right? Now what is our aim? What is our purpose of this question? We are going to find what should be the tension value. So how much tension will be created in the cord? We are going to find the value of the tension. So now what I am going to do, I am going to frame the equation from this diagram. From the figure, what I am going to do, I am going to write the rule. What is the rule? This one is the midpoint, right? So this left hand side and right hand side, we have the tension and this is our angle and this one is the cosine component, this one is the sine component, right? So that means here we have to consider the midpoint of the cord. So if you want to frame the equation for the right hand side, what should be the equation? T sine theta which is equal to F, right? Clear? And left hand side also we have the same thing. Right hand side T sine theta, left hand side also T sine theta. So T sine theta plus T sine theta, which is 2 T sine theta, which is equal to the total weight, right? So the total weight, which is exactly 900. Clear? So I'm going to keep this equation as the first equation, right? Now what I'm going to do, I am going to find the theta value first. So how to find the theta value? Again, we have to use the diagram. So what? how we can find the theta? Because in chapter number 3, we studied the vector concept. So theta, which is exactly equal to the tan inverse of y over x, right? So what is here y? This is our y. So this distance which is exactly equal to this distance, right? And what is our x? Our x value is from the center, right hand side, we have 7 meter. So by using the value of y as well as x, I am going to find the value of theta because once we find the theta, I am going to substitute the value of the theta in equation 1. By that, we can easily find what should be the tension created in the cord. So first of all, I'm going to calculate the theta by using the value. So tan inverse of what is our y? I will repeat these things again. So when the person exactly reached the midpoint, what will happen? This cord gets zags. 
up to 0.85 meter. So that means if you see the diagram, this is our y value. This part is our y value. This part is our x value, right? So our y value takes the value of 0.85 meter and the x value is 7 meter. So I'm going to use this value here, the y value 0.85 over 7. And now I'm going to calculate. tan inverse of 0 0.85 over 7 I got 6.92 what's the theta value 6.92 correct okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to take this theta I'm going to substitute the value here substituting the theta value in equation 1, 2t sine of 6.92 degree, which is equal to our force. What is the force? The force here is nothing but the weight, right? So weight, which is exactly 900 Newton. And now I am going to rearrange this equation. T, which is equal to F over 2 multiplied by sine of 6.92 degree. Now I am going to substitute the value of the force which is 900 Newton over 2 multiplied by sine of 6.92. Let's we see what should be the value for the tension. So 900 over 2 multiplied by sine of 6.92. I got 3734.95. I can rewrite this e the number as 3.73 multiplied by 10 power 3 Newton. So this is the answer for the first question. So tension created in the chord is 3.73 multiplied by 10 power 3 Newton. Clear?